my supernova girl. Hello Magical Friends! You saw the thumbnail, you know that this video is about Xenon and the girl of the 21st century. It was my favorite Disney Channel movie growing up. Chances are because you're here, it's one of your favorites too. Xenon is a girl who lives in space on a space station and her best friend is played by Raven Simone, which in the early 2000s, I know everyone wanted to be best friends with Raven Simone. So since I want to do a Xenon photo shoot, I need to rewatch the movie and kind of get the inspiration. Oh wait. <laughs> so if I want to do a Xenon photo shoot, I'm going to need to do my research and that's going to mean rewatching the movie. And I really want to know three things. One, is it as good as I remember? Or is that just nostalgia? Nostalgia is a powerful drug. I remember loving the outfits, but I remember loving like camp rock outfits. And then I watched that and I'm like, <laughs> She's really good. Bitch, what the fuck? Two, are they right about our future? It came out in 1999 and it took place in 2049. So that means we are at the halfway point of the future that Xenon tells us is going to happen. And three, will it make a cool photo shoot? I am basing everything off of this movie, the outfit, the hair, the styling, the editing, everything will be based on this movie. And with all that said, it is time to watch this movie, but I need to be prepared for this first. I'm gonna insert some transition here, clever Woody, I don't know. According to Xenon, pigtails are the hairstyle of the future, so we are all set. What's better than enjoying a movie with my adorable little puppies? This movie opens up with Xenon running through the space station because she's late to class. Here we find out she's kind of a little shit, <laughs> but watch out, she's a Disney protagonist, so that means she's going to be quirky, clumsy, and misunderstood. This is what school looks like in the future. They kind of nailed that virtual learning aspect, except instead of a cool hologram, we have Zoom meetings. Ah! Ah, come on! <laughs> In this scene, they name drop Chelsea Clinton as the president, Hillary and Bill Clinton's daughter, which I think is interesting because normally they have a fictitious president, so bold move here. At the beginning of the movie, we find out a really interesting piece of information. This ship is 27 years old. That means the prediction was that we would have a space station and an entire community up in space two years ago. We are not quite there yet, but you know, commercial space travel is starting to become a thing, so maybe we're just a little bit late. The space station is funded by this company owned by Wyndham. Spoiler, Wyndham is the baddie, but you kind of feel that early on, and he has a henchman named Lutz. Since Xenon is suspicious of him, she follows him around, and she finds him in the main database room. He inserts a mysterious disc into the database and Xenon is watching the whole thing. After he leaves, he accidentally drops the disc because he's just a dumb henchman. But uh oh, our clumsy little Xenon got caught. Her parents are just over her shit and so instead of parenting her, they just decide to send her to Earth to go live with her aunt. Nebula and Xenon have this thing with trash. For some reason, they like to wear trash, to recycle trash. I mean, I guess there's no thrift stores on the space station, so they just decide to get dressed with whatever is in the trash compactor. And so Nebula finds that disc and decides that this would be a really cute earring. So before Xenon has to go back to Earth, Nebula gives her the sweet gift of a homemade trash earring. <laughs> I am convinced that Nebula's hair is actually just discarded slinkies that she decided to put in her pigtails. Of course, when she gets to Earth, she gets bullied because what Disney lead wouldn't have a bully? Xenon makes some incredibly smart friends. Of course, they're gonna be crazy nerds and know how to break into the mainframe of a huge organization even though that they're 13 years old, but suspend your disbelief because this is Disney Channel movie, okay? 
We find out that the earring has a virus in it and Wyndham used it to destroy the entire space station. And this kid just built an undo code for it or whatever, but it has to be installed on the space station. The very next ship going to space is Protozoa and his pop band, Microbe. In order to get to Protozoa, they take a self-driving car, which I guess just looks like a Volkswagen bug. They definitely got that one wrong. She breaks into the shuttle launching point to convince Protozoa to let her onto the ship and to take her to the station. Lacey, will you do me a favor, darling? Please escort Miss Carr to the space shuttle. I'm going? You're taking me with you? See, it's the penis! As much as I loved you before, now I love you even more. Of course you do. This man with his British accent and frosted tips just had my heart in a chokehold. Xenon is then able to get to the main database where she is able to put the, the disc with the reverse virus into the database. And it would not be a sci-fi movie without a dramatic countdown to the very last moment of impending doom. Right at zero seconds, Xenon saves the day. And that is Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century. Honestly, I think it really holds up. The fashion, so cute. There were some pieces in there that I genuinely would wear today. And maybe it's because like Y2K fashion is like coming back in style. The music though, oh my gosh. Still the best, like the Supernova Girl song. Oh my gosh. I remember there being more music in this when really the only song was that song at the end. 10 out of 10 on this movie. If you haven't seen it for a while and you are ready for some space nostalgia, definitely go and watch it. My plan for this photo shoot is to turn myself into Xenon, but not 13 year old Xenon. I want her to be grown up. So Xenon in the future. And she is now the captain of the spaceship. So she's gonna be a powerful captain. These are, I think that I'm putting the graphics on this side, <laughs> but these are the items that I got for this photo shoot. So let's go try those on. I wanna give like the sexy hot lady in Star Trek vibes. <laughs> I can't remember her name, but like the way that she looked in this outfit, oh my gosh, like who did not have a crush on her because she was so hot. I got a pink dress. Of course it had to be pink for Xenon. That's what she wears in all the promo material. Another very important piece for this photo shoot is this wig. My sister made me a Kuchi Kopi doll. And so it's been acting as a wig holder inside of my studio. And he is just, so cute and so fabulous at the same time. Isn't this just like the best wig holder? But obviously I am not blonde like Xenon is and I actually didn't even get a blonde wig. I wanted, I really liked this like gray wig cause it has a little pink in the bottom and I'm really glad that I went with this. But also Xenon isn't half Filipino so we're just gonna make do with what I have. <laughs> But I don't think that's that big of a deal because I went back to watch the second Xenon and Raven Simone isn't in it. I don't know how I did not remember it. So if they can take out Raven Simone and change out the Nebula character, then I can be the captain of the ship, older version of Xenon. Yeah, Disney can just suck it. You know who is Asian though? And I could really pull off as a character really well. Freaking London Tipton from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I like thought about this earlier this week and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be a really fun shoot. Especially cause her style is so fun. So if you wanna see that, let me know. Ignore the mess that is my studio. It is usually always a little bit chaotic while I'm doing shoots, but this is what the dress is. I have this cool silver harness. So let's put that on now. <gasps> Sucker in. Uh, emphasize that waistline. Just kidding, I can still breathe. Cute. This came with another piece up here, so let's see what that looks like on. While this cute is, <laughs> while this cute, while this dress is very cute, it's basically just like wearing plastic, so it's kind of hot, and I'm definitely gonna be a little bit sweaty by the end of this, so. So this is how this piece is supposed to work kind of creates like a boob window <laughs> with my dress, but I have these silver shoes and these are wrist cuffs. Ooh, how does that look? Feel like it's making it come together. 
This outfit is complete with pantyhose because I am too lazy to shave my legs. Now this is a cute look. I have done wigs a couple of times before. I don't know if I install them correctly, but they just need to be good enough for me to be able to Photoshop them. <laughs> this is the final look. What are we thinking? Does it say Xenon? It screams Disney Channel outfit. Like this looks like something that is in a Disney Channel stylist wardrobe. Absolutely 100%. Because it's like kind of campy and cheesy and very obvious and like on the nose, which is like often what Disney Channel does for their styling, but also the layers. I nailed the layers. I probably should have done this before I got all of my outfit on, but I now have to get my backdrop down and get my lights set, and then it's time to start shooting. Don't judge me or my use of ladder. Let's get up here. Oh, moving around in corsets, it's not very easy. Oh. That's my wig, wig flip, hair flip. Sorry for the crappy video quality here. I use my phone because my good camera is busy taking pictures, obviously. I set my camera on a timer to take a picture every two seconds so that I could just focus on posing. My favorite shots are usually ones with dynamic posing. And so in order to get those and make them look really natural, I will incorporate movement the entire time. My favorite shots ended up being the ones where I was jumping in them because they looked like really cool, like I was floating. Now it is time for all of the fun editing and adding the Photoshop magic. Do you hear that? I think that means it's time for a reveal. <laughs> Supernova girl, girl, girl. Honestly though, this shoot was so fun. I love going back to my nostalgic roots of things that I used to watch growing up. It would be awesome if you subscribed and came back so that I could do more of these. And I don't know, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Like I post on there too a lot more often. I do a lot of shorter photo shoots that don't require the whole setup for a whole YouTube video. I love you and I thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. I am so excited to get out of this corset and finally take in a full breath. Okay.